Now, before we go, it's a tale of women mobilizing for community action after decades of ignorance led to many sicknesses uh, through open defecation. Uh, we take you now to Nakong Saburu in the Kasananankana uh, West District of the Upper East Region, where the women team up with the men to construct household latrines in every home in the community. This is their effort to combat open defecation. Now, here is a report by Upper East, Upper East Regional Correspondent Albert Sori. It may be a job taught to be a preserve for the men, but for these women here at Nakong Saboro in the Kasana Nankana West District of the Upper East Region, it is a job they have come to love and to do with passion. Together as a group, sometimes numbering up to 30 women, they construct these latrines from household to household within the community. Any house, when you say you are ready for your toilet, all of the women and our husbands will go and help you for you to bleed your toilet because... Magdalene Tiose is a trained latrine artisan and leader of the women's group here at Nakong Saboro. With the help of other women, Magdalene can put up a latrine without involving the men. But at the moment, she is pregnant, so she is cautious about engaging in hard physical work. I want this assemble to train more people, especially the women, to know how to play a toilet so that it can help us because a woman will suffer a lot. If your child is sick, the problem will come to you. So when the women know their work more, it will be better. The men of the community have not left the women to do this alone. At the initial stages of constructing the latrines, the men often do the digging and lining of the pits. Moses Ali is also a trained latrine artisan. We are building ESA to up. We are doing slab and covered. And we build it um, outside. So some women give the water and the grass and uh, many, many things. The women fetch sand and water at the initial stages of construction, but some of them can also dig, build, and plaster walls. For many years, defecating in the vast open lands in this community was seen as a normal practice, but the spread of diseases like cholera was also frequent. The Center for Indigenous Knowledge and Organizational Development, SICOD, and Water Aid Ghana therefore started some advocacy work here at Nakong Saboro. Kennedy Abotiani works with SICOD and Water Aid Ghana. There were no sanitation facilities, that is to say toilets. Not a single toilet was in this particular community. And, uh, our approach, which is endogenous development, we believe and use the physical, spiritual, and social resources that are in the communities to foster development. Community people were selected by the communities to participate in a training, and that training was for latrine artisans to give artisans the knowledge and requisite skills to construct latrines for household usage. Two years on, members of the Nakong Saboro community say they are seeing the benefits of using household latrines. The latrines prevent the spread of diseases in the community and this keeps us and our families healthy. That is why we all come together to help put up latrines in the various homes. I want to encourage my, my followers, uh, women, 
so that they will help our husbands to build a toilet so that it will make our children's cleanliness to go down. One of the targets of Goal 6 of the Sustainable Development Goals is to, by the year 2030, achieve access to adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene for all and to end open defecation, paying special attention to the needs of women and girls and those in vulnerable situations. The story of Nakong Saboro perhaps goes to show that the role of women in Ghanaian communities is key to achieving this target. Albert Sorry, Joy News, Nakong Saboro, Upper East Region. That's amazing, a pregnant woman coming out to do very, very hard work to modernize her community when most men I know won't come to work even when they have a cold, right? Makes no sense to discriminate against women. Anyway, that's it.